Hello everyone, this is Anna May, and I have a question for you. How do you think you can relieve stress with a tennis ball? Let me show you the chill pill. The good news is that there's no need to swallow it. Let me show you how you can use it instead. I've been asked many times what someone can do when trouble arises, whether it is anger, fear, anxiety, coming from your inner world or from your surroundings, they may all throw you off balance. It can be bad news or having an argument. Any of those could affect your breathing with unfavorable outcomes. Because your breathing always reflects your emotional state. The change in one will change the other. When stress strikes, there can be different levels of emotional and physical manifestation. You may have trouble falling asleep. You may feel anxious or panicky. Taking it a step further, it could lead to high blood pressure. But before we go on with the exercise, just imagine you decide to do this stress-relieving exercise instead of having a family drama. It's not the same as ignoring the problem. The issue still needs to be resolved, but without a strong personal, emotional charge. As this exercise can relieve the tension that maintains all sicknesses or blockages, I suggest that you always finish your home practicing with it. Whether you do our 21-day challenge or your own set of exercises from your private session. So here we go with the exercise. Take the ball and place it somewhat above the middle of the breastbone and lie on it. You can adjust the ball a bit so that it stays in place. Ladies, make sure the ball does not put pressure on the breasts. The spot on the breastbone will be sensitive. It can even be painful. Note that the efficacy of the exercise doesn't depend on the exact position of the ball. What's important is that you feel its pressure. The pain or inconvenience is usually stronger than what the pressure in itself could inflict. In case of any asymmetry in your spine, the right spot may vary and may not be in the middle, but a bit beside the breastbone. All right. So once you find the place of the ball, make sure you start breathing right away, because the pressure works as a valve that helps relieve the tension and let it out of your body, of your system. Relax your muscles as much as your body allows and breathe into your lower back through the nose. Try to expand your lower back on the inhale. Exhale through the mouth, making a sound. The stronger the pressure of the ball, the bigger the tension is in the chest, so the breathing should be stronger too. Try to relax both your shoulders. The tension in your chest may not allow them to relax on the floor. Still, just keep breathing. Inhale through the nose, fill the lower back with air. Exhale through the mouth, let the breath flow and into the ground. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Instead, let your inhale and exhale melt into each other. Remember to keep your breathing steadily, strongly flowing. It is important to keep up with the breathing because the more tension is in the chest, the bigger the pressure of the ball and it is the breathing that can help dissolve it. As a result of the exercise, you may experience a tingling sensation in your hands, legs or on your face around your mouth. This is a good sign. 
In that case, just finish the exercise by breathing out and holding your breath. It means that you stay without air and relax your muscles lying still on the ball. If you don't have the tingling sensation, that's just fine too. After you need to take a breath again, just take some time to notice how you feel. This is a different state of mind and a different emotional state too. It feels heavier compared to the previous tenseness. Being tense is an active, powerful state. When this tension leaves the body, you may feel blunt and tired. This shows what was really underneath the tension. So if you feel more tired, relaxed or blunt compared to how you started, it is only a sign that you have just got rid of a big amount of stress.